Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the scrub ombre dip powder method using my Color Club Serendipity Kit. This is the classic kit. It comes with three colors, but I also have purchased two other colors from Color Club's website during one of their sales. And I am going to be doing, like I said, the scrub brush ombre method. So this is my first time trying this method out. I'm going to be doing it on my natural nails, so no nail extensions. And I'm also going to be using three colors because when I do ombres using regular nail polish, I use at least three nail polish colors. So you can get that kind of perfect gradient blend. So that's what I'm going to be doing today with the dip powders using three colors, the scrub brush ombre method. Let's get started. <laughs> First, you must prep your nails before using dip powder. I am using Sally Hansen's cuticle remover. And I'll try to link everything I'm using below in the description box. But I'm using Sally Hansen's cuticle remover. Then I'm pushing back my cuticles with this glass cuticle pusher. Then I'm lightly buffing the top of my nails to remove any shine off my natural nail. And this is going to make the dip powder stay on my nail longer. So first I'm going to be taking this bonding gloss liquid. In Color Club's kit, this is used as like the base as well as the top coat. But I'm only applying it to maybe three-fourths of the way down my nail. And then I'm going to dip my nail in the lightest color dip powder I have and tap off any excess powder on my nail. Then I'm going to continue that step on all of my nails. I'm just taking the bonding gloss, which is basically some sort of adhesive or glue. Applying that three-fourths of the way down my nail and then dipping my nail into the powder, tapping away the excess. And the reason I start off doing half my nails instead of going all the way down is because I don't want my cuticle area to be too bulky. So if you apply too many coats of dip powder, your nails can start to get really bulky and clunky and you'll have to do a lot of filing later. If you just pile too much down at the cuticle area, it does not look natural at all. So I'm kind of building up my nail by doing it this way. So now that I've done all my nails, I go back with this giant fluffy makeup brush and just lightly brush off any excess powder before I continue dipping. Okay, I know I'm kind of zoomed out here, but I wanted you to get the full picture of what I was doing. So again, I'm taking that bonding gloss and this time I'm going all the way down to my cuticle area. I'm trying to be very meticulous with this and only apply it to my nail and making sure not to get any of the bonding gloss on my skin. And that's very important because wherever you put this bonding gloss, that is where the powder is going to stick to. Next, I'm taking this little, I think it's like an eye makeup brush from e.l.f. And I'm lightly patting the two different colors on my nail. So I'm doing the middle color in the middle and then the darker color on the tips of my nail. And at first I'm just kind of tapping it on the nails and then I kind of go back and try to rub the color in the nail. This is my first time doing this, like I said. It's pretty easy, I guess, but I'm just kind of experimenting at this point. So once I have that on that really good, again, I'm just going to kind of really push and brush that dip powder into the nail so it can take on that color. And I'm trying to blend all three colors together so you have like that really nice seamless ombre. It's a little challenging but I mean it's not as challenging as it looks but I think that first one turned out really well 
So again, I'm just gonna repeat that same step. I'm applying the bonding gloss all the way down to my cuticle area, being very slow and careful with this step not to apply any bonding gloss on my skin and making sure it doesn't flood my cuticle area. So I'm going to dip my entire nail in the lightest dip powder color, tap off any excess, then I'm taking my makeup brush and tapping that middle color in the middle of the nail. Trying to concentrate it just on the middle and not cover too much of the nail. And then I'm going to take my darkest color and tap that on the top of the nail. Once that's on pretty well, I'm going to go back and kind of like push the color into the nail if that makes sense so I'm kind of tapping and brushing and blending and swiping and just really trying to make sure the color shows up on the nail and then I'm going back to the middle color after I apply the darker color on the tips to try to blend it out a little bit more so it doesn't look like there's just three blocks of colors I want it with ombre, you want it to blend and look like it's slowly transitioning from light to dark. So that's what I'm attempting to do with this. It is a little bit challenging to blend it perfectly. You kind of want to work quick with this because you are kind of pushing it into that glue, which is pretty much dry by now, but I think you're basically just staining the lighter color. I'm not exactly sure how this works, but... I mean, it turned out pretty well. You can definitely see the darker color. You kind of have to get a little bit closer to see that middle brown color. But you can see all three colors on the nail. And hopefully once I apply my top coat, you'll be able to see it really well. But yeah, I'm happy with that. After I've done all my nails, again, I'm taking that fluffy makeup brush and just brushing off any excess powder off my nails. So lastly, this step is very important. I am again applying that bonding gloss to my nails and I'm going to dip my nails into clear dip powder. And this powder is not by Color Club. I think it's by Azure Beauty, which I got off Amazon. I will link that below as well in the description box. But I'm being very careful to apply the bonding gloss so it doesn't get on my skin. And then I'm dipping my nail into clear dip powder. And this is this step is very important because once you start filing, you don't want to file off that ombre that you just worked so hard for. So you definitely want to encapsulate this design with that clear. So when you're filing, you're filing the clear off and not your color, if that makes sense. If you look at my pinky finger, I didn't encapsulate the nail with clear. And you can definitely tell that I started filing off the ombre. Because the ombre is not as good on my pinky finger as it is on the rest of my nails. So that pinky nail is like my test finger. After I'm completely done dipping my nails, I'm taking the Instant Activator, which comes in the kit. And this is just going to harden all the dip powder. I'm being very generous 
with this step because I want to make sure this activator gets to all the dip powder. So I'm saturating the nail. I'm, do, I'm making sure I cover every part of the dip powder. I'm making sure to cap the free edge. And yeah, just really making sure this liquid thoroughly saturates the nail. And then I'm going to allow this instant activator to dry for two to three minutes. The directions say for one minute, but I just gave it a little extra time to make sure it was thoroughly dry before I start filing my nails. Alright, so once the activator has dried, I'm taking my nail file and I just picked this nail file up from Sally Beauty Supply. It's a 100-180 grit nail file. And I'm using the 180 grit side to just file out any lumps and bumps and unevenness in the dip powder. And I'm also kind of filing a little bit around my cuticle area to make sure everything is nice and rounded and smooth. This is the time to fix any huge errors or mistakes, any large uneven areas that you have on your nails. And I like to make it where my cuticle area is a little flatter and not as thick as the tip of my nail, if that makes any sense. But I just don't want my cuticle area to be too thick and too bulky. I want the nails to look natural. I want it to look like I just have nail polish on, kind of. It's still a little bit thicker than nail polish, but... I just don't want my nails to be too thick and bulky. It doesn't look good. So this is the time to smooth out any imperfections in the nail. But you also don't want to overfile because if you overfile, you're going to start filing the color off the nail. So I just filed a little bit to smooth it out. It wasn't that bumpy, so it didn't take too long. And it's very easy to file if you have a good nail file. So I'm using the buffer that came in the kit, which is not a good buffer. I would suggest going to Sally's and getting like a high quality nail buffer. But this is all I have right now. So I'm just using this to smooth out any of the deep cuts and crevices that the nail file has put in my nails. And this is really important. You definitely want to smooth you definitely want to buff your nails after you file them because it's just going to look so much better once you apply your top coat. Your nail's going to actually have a smooth look instead of like a rough, bumpy look. So this step's really important. After I'm done filing and buffing my nails, I then, again, take my fluffy brush and try to dust off as much powder as I can off of my nails. Next is I'm taking the instant activator one last time and going over the nails. Again, thoroughly saturate your nails with this instant activator, being sure to get it on the free edge of the nail in every single area on the nail. So I let the activator dry again for two to three minutes. Now I'm taking this lint-free nail wipe and just wiping each nail to remove any leftover activator that is on my nails because it will harden your brush if you don't do that. So I'm taking the bonding gloss, which is the same liquid that I use as the base coat, and this is going to be the top coat. The instructions say to apply this in two to three quick strokes at first and then let that dry for a couple minutes and then I'm going to go back in and apply another coat of the bonding gloss but this time I'm going to be a lot more thorough making sure I cap the free edge, making sure I get my whole nail bed covered with this bonding gloss. And the activator will stiffen this brush. So that's why you kind of want to work quickly on that first coat of top coat. 
But don't worry if your brush just harden, this kit comes with a brush cleaner. All you have to do is put the brush in the brush cleaner and it will soften your brush right up. So that is me trying out the scrub brush dip powder method using three colors instead of two and I think it turned out really good. I really like this natural ombre. You can definitely see all three colors and I think it's a nice blend. And these supposedly will last, I think it says up to 21 days. I'm not sure about that, but if you properly prep your nails, it should definitely last you at least two weeks. Alright, so that is the final result. Please let me know what you think of this below. Have you tried dip powder? Have you tried Color Club's dip powder kit? Are you interested in trying it, trying this scrub brush ombre method out? I'd love to hear what you think of this design below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do hit the thumbs up button, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. What? <laughs>